And the main news again, Ford workers are to go on national strike at midnight on Sunday. Finally, at least four million Britons were left red-nosed today, and it had nothing to do with the weather. They were clowning to raise money for comic relief to help famine victims in Africa. It even got the royal seal of approval with the Duke of York joining in the fun. People simply couldn't get enough of them. The Red Nose Supporters Club sold all four million and didn't begin to satisfy the demand. Red Nose fever has swept Britain and is raising millions for African famine relief. At this Camden school, staff weren't treated with quite the usual respect at morning assembly. And even in the city, the serious business of making money gave way to some improvised light relief. At Ford's in Dagenham, the word was, if you've got a red nose, pick it. Advice they could have passed on to others who didn't let the fun interfere with the day's work. The Prime Minister wasn't about to be seen in one, but nor could she forget there was something different about today. It all looked a bit odd, I must say. <laughs> At the Rovers' return, Gail and Brian Tilsley showed that supporting comic relief needn't be an impediment when romance blossoms again. And if they do remarry, they could do worse than follow the example of this couple in Birmingham. On a day like this, even a wedding wasn't to be taken too seriously. These little red noses have already raised two million pounds for famine relief. But that's likely to be dwarfed today as cash pours in from events all over Britain. James Mates, ITN, Central London. Well, you certainly won't get me wearing one of those. Oh, well, that's it. From all of us here at ITN, good evening. <laughs>